Welcome back to QFITS View. In this video, we will look at creating colour images. QFITS View can create three colour images by combining FITS data through the menu option File Image Combine Dialog. The idea is that you can combine up to three buffers and then save the resulting image as one of the standard picture formats. The option RGB image creator is deprecated. My example is three Y's images of the same object in the W1, W2 and W3 filters. I will load these up. There's image combined 1, 2 and 3. You set the colour maps that you want on each of the images. In this case, I'm going to go to the buffer one is going to be set to the blue as being the uh, highest wavelength. Buffer two, I'm going to set to be green. And buffer three, I'm going to set to be red. In each case, you can change the brightness and contrast as you like. But I'm going to make sure it's set at equal brightness and contrast in this case. I then go to the Image Combine dialog, File, Image Combine dialog, and set the buffers as required. Blue, the green, and the red. If required, they can be scaled and realigned if they are offset or different sizes from each other. You do that through the X and Y shift and the scaling. I'll rescale the buffers by a value of 3 in each case so we can make the display a bit more visible. We can then swap windows and change the scaling and brightness and contrast. For instance, I might want to make this a logarithmic stretch and then we swap back to the window and there you can see that there has been a change in the display. Swap back and reset it to this correct value. We then do save image or copy image to the clipboard and save as one of the standard formats e.g. PNG, JPEG, BMP, etc. And I'm going to save it as image combined PNG. I'll just open that up so we can see the details. The central object is very red, with the object on the top right being somewhat brighter in the intermediate channel and on the bottom left almost exclusively in the first channel. Of course you don't have to use red, green and blue, but it's best to use a single colour for each channel. The image combine works just as well for two images. I will load two new images. Image combine four and image combine 5. These are images of NGC 4438 in the Chandra X-ray and in a VLA image. I'll change the colour maps to green and red respectively. Change this colour map to red and buffer 1's colour map to green. And then run the image combine dialog. Put this in buffer 1 and that in buffer 2. Now as you can see these two images are at different plate scales and dimensions and they are displaced from each other. There's the Chandra X-ray and there's the radio image. However the dialog has a button to align buffers. 
This rescales and aligns the images automatically. As you see, the scale on buffer 1 has changed and buffer 2 has been shifted in both the x and the y directions by certain numbers of pixels. This all assumes that the astrometry is correct. We are not restricted to a colour map. I can set the display of one of the buffers as contours. I will set buffer 2 view as contour and I'll set the values to 100 to 600 in steps of 100. And then if I swap back to the image combined dialog, you can see the contours overlaid upon the green Chandra X-ray image. And then you can copy image or save image as you like. That's all for this video. Check out other videos on our YouTube channel.